This is the Eichlate case, underwater housing. And this is for my D7200. It's been sent in and converted from a D7100. So the electronics needed to be get needed to get changed. However, I've had some trouble with it in the past insofar as that um, the seal, the way this works here, is okay at depth. You know, this is where the dome goes on here. And it's, you know, it's okay at depth, but when you're on the surface bobbing around, this thing is highly susceptible to leak because it can literally move around and rock on here. And um, it doesn't seal very well. So um, one time in Honduras, it I didn't put the seal on properly. I went down and it leaked and I just couldn't get to the surface fast enough. So after that, I decided I had to invest. So I invested in this little guy right here, which is uh, right here. What this is is a vacuum port. So this actually plugs in the there like that and so what this does allows you to create a vacuum on the inside of your case and um, the way that works is uh, the plug it also came with this device this, uh, this vacuum device here and so this is a little trigger system, so, and it will, this here plugs into the, plugs right into here, like that. And the idea is to just, you know, you just press this and then it'll take the air out of there. And I will demonstrate this with, so that when it's actually got a, when it's sealed up and uh, not sort of sitting on my lap the way it is. And it'll, you can see it actually. Uh, what it does basically is it protects you from floods at the surface because that's really the only place you're going to have problems because as soon as you go to depth, you're under pressure, it's never going to leak. Um, but at the surface, it's highly susceptible. It's nice to have that peace of mind knowing that it's, um, it's sealed at the surface and you're not going to have that problem anymore. So it's, it's been great ever since then. Uh, one thing I just mention is that do not put too much pressure pounds they tell you to put like 15 I've never used more than five or six um, and part of the reason for that is it seems to suck over time the buttons will actually get vacuumed onto the inside of the unit meaning that on, on the back of this the back panel which is over here somewhere like over here is the back panel and uh, if you once the pressure the vacuum pressure is up it'll actually start sucking these guys in like that and when they get sucked in and they start pressing against the camera and you don't notice it because when you're underwater you've got enough tasks to deal with and one of these 411 buttons on here that you can't see or notice gets sucked in, the camera starts to behave, your rig starts to behave very erratically. And you can no longer operate your camera underwater, which can be incredibly frustrating, as I'm sure you're aware. So that's just a pointer for anybody with vacuum systems. Uh, don't put the vacuum on too much and don't put it on the night before. Put it on just before you go out. And what I do to help me remember is I actually... Um, leave this unit before I go in the morning I'll leave that plugged in like that and then I can't do anything with it until I do vacuum it so you don't forget so that's a good reminder to do it just before you leave now I'll put my the unit together and so that you can see uh, uh, how, how to pressurize it okay so I, I don't know why I didn't just keep doing it on that first part of the video but anyway we'll splice it so uh, what I need to do here is I need to get my port so here's my dome port sitting over here or one of them actually I'll just use my my macro port for now it's just more easy for me to manage right now 
easier for the video, so I'll just pop that on there. I just need to get a seal on here so you can see. So I can press that down and push push all these guys in, make them make them snap, and all you bike light people all know about the little snap that you have to do and that sort of thing. So that's all sealed now. And uh, let's see what I need to do here. Just doing this on my lap is not very good for video, is it? But I just need to get it sealed. Okay, and so this piece, I just need to get this on the back. And the wire safely in there so I don't have any problems. Get it all clipped up here. You're supposed to do that together, actually, not separately. It's another way to get your camera nice and flooded, so I'm passing on all kinds of bad behaviors here. Okay, now, in theory, this thing should be sealed now. And you can tell we're all kind of plugged in there. Okay, sorry about the video shaking. So, I'm going to turn this around again, just, just so that it's easier for everybody to see. And, uh, okay, so here's the, the vacuum port. It's all plugged in here. And uh, now we're going to start and uh, to pressurize the case. So, I usually like to go about five here, so I'm going to... Go maybe start to go up to five. You can see about halfway. You can hear the camera starting to compress. Okay, it looks like we're up about five there, so. It there and obviously if it's leaking it that that needle's going to go down so there's your first clue that something you didn't do something right or the seal fell down or something's not right or you forgot something uh, but so far it looks like we're pretty good so this you can sit there and wait for it but generally it, it, it's going to leak right away and you're going to notice it with this so a couple more just for fun and now we can detach this. So to detach it, we just press the little button on the side. There's a little button underneath there, so I can detach that. And this, one thing you don't want to forget is to put the little plug in here so it don't get salt water into this mechanism. So you just plug that in like that. Now we're sealed. This thing can't leak at the surface. So that's how this baby works. And of course to release it, say we went diving, we came back, and now we want to get the air out. So you can't get the air out of here without that pump. You know, if you don't have that thing laying around, you can't, you can't get the air out of here. You can't get your camera out of here. So, because this is, this will, this will fight you. I've got five pounds on here and I can barely turn this just like that. To crank it off would be very difficult. I have done it, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's probably going to damage your gear, so... You pop that out, you pick up your uh, vacuum mechanism, you pop that in here, and then there's this little, how you can hear that, so you can hear the, see the pressure going down to zero, there, now it's at zero. You're good to go. Good to go with taking everything apart. There you go. I left my seal in there as you can see. Don't want to forget that. Put that back on my port. So that's how that works. If you've got any questions, comments, leave them underneath the video. Um, I'll be try to bet my best to answer anything you can. I can. Take care. Bye.